Hi. Sit for this Bahama. It's a full, full immunization problem and it has a liability that's due eight years from now and two different cash flows. One of which has a ambiguous time value since it's denoted Y. So we could do the usual approach and test it by making the durations equal to each other and to see what works from there, but we can't. So with problems with unknown years like this, we have to create an equation based on effective interest rate i so we could find a derivative of it right so the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to take 300,000 which is from asset one and we're going to accumulate it towards um the uh liability that we have here so one thing is that we have to make these equations based on the comparison date of time eight where the liability occurs so the first uh asset occurs in six years so that takes two to accumulate the time eight plus um x one plus i this is after time e. So we would have to denote this by e minus y, discounting it back, equals uh, a million. Now, another thing here is that we need to find the present value, right? So, no, we need to find the second derivative, which is denoted as duration, right? There's no double derivative that would uh, apply to convexity, which would apply to writing to immunization. So I solved the derivatives here, 600K, one plus I, plus E minus Y, X, then one plus I, seven minus Y, equals 1 million. Now, the other part is that we have to input 4%, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in 4% into the first equation, right? So let's do that for the first one. So for this one, if I input 4%, I'm going to get I can get 324480 subtracted from a million to bring it from the other side. And I'm going to get 675520, right? Then after I do that, I could split this into two parts 1 plus i to the 8, and 1 plus i to the negative y. Right, so I can move this other side so I can divide it by 1.04 to the 8, right, and then I'll just end up getting that x 1.04 negative y equals to. Okay, now for this one, it's um, 600K, so 600,000 times 104, which is 624,000, right? Now you can move it to the million. Can it be 376,000? Now again, I could expand right this here so i could do one plus i to the seven and one plus i to the negative y so again i could okay so again oh another thing is that 
the, the derivative of 1 million is 0. I don't know why I put it there like that. But anyway, um, oh wait, no. Oh, shoot, sorry. If this is 0, then that would mean that. This would be 624, negative 624, my bad. But anyway, so 1 plus i, so 1.04 to the 7, so it's going to be 1.3, 1, 5, Now, if you subtract this from there, so it should be 624, 1,000, divided by 1.3, 1, 159. It's going to be 474, 200. Now, another thing is that this x1 plus i negative y equals this. So I can also divide this by the other side. So I'll divide it by 493.595.8473, which is 0 0.9607. And all I gotta do is subtract 8. So, yeah, so 624,000. Let me erase. It looks like a mess. And so now, yeah, this is going to start looking like. Uh, this will consist of this. Oh, oopsie. Yeah, so this this whole thing will consist of this times eight minus y times one plus i to the seven, which is one point thirty one. Now I'm gonna take this value and multiply it by four nine three five nine five dot eight four seven three and you get six four nine five three eight. Now I'm gonna take this six twenty four and it goes to twenty four thousand divided by six four nine five three seven dot five eight. And then you get uh, negative 0.96 minus 8, divide that by negative 1. And then I'm going to end up getting y equals to 8.96. Now I'm able to plug it into either of these equations. So I'm going to plug it into this one. So again, I simplified this, made this to the other side, 675, 520. Now I'm going to do 1.04 to the minus 0.96, right, which is 0 0.96, 0 0.963, right, and then I'm going to get x, which will equal to 701, or seven four, which would be closest to answer choice D.